boys and girls, it's your boys, Tim Rosenbrick, and we are here with quite possibly our most important video of the year thus far. That's right, this is our official 2018 Bachelorette endorsement. Are you ready for this, Pat? Well, before all the internet wise asses slide into our comments and be like, oh, actually, they already announced that Becca's <laughs> gonna be the Bachelorette next <laughs> right. year. Yo, we know that, right. but we like this exercise because we get to pick who we think would be the best Bachelorette next year from Ari season. That's right. Obviously, we know Beck is the Bachelorette. We're going to be watching that season. We're going to be recapping it. But it wouldn't be this channel if we didn't give you our opinions yes. on who we think would have been a better pick, well the put. best pick, and that's what we got for you. So you ready to hit it with a Yeah, man? let me give it the drum roll. All, All right. right. We got the drum, drum roll. roll. And I need you to get to it quick because I'm losing breath. For the official Tudor Sabrick Bachelorette endorsement is Jacqueline. All right, so let's go through point by point why Jacqueline would make the best Bachelorette out of all the candidates from Ari season. Number one, she would be an excellent narrator. Right, which this can't be stated enough yes. because you are going to be the lead of this show for 10 weeks plus, right? You gotta be entertaining, mm. you gotta be interesting, you mm. gotta provide that it factor that captivates the audience. Yes. And the narrator, I mean, we see what happens when you are a bad narrator. Yeah. We just had it. You just say, I love that. Or, yeah. I really love that yeah. about her. And it really doesn't do you any good, especially if you want to pull a move that might not make you look good. Yeah. You're going to establish the connection between you and your audience with the way you narrate the show. I mean, look at what happened with Rachel season, right? Exactly. Rachel absolutely... <laughs> Bitch slap Dean, basically, emotionally. <laughs> right. And no one jumped off of her boat, right? Right. No one came to Dean's defense. Everyone's like, oh, you know, it was a tough decision that Rachel had to make. Well, speaking of Rachel, we saw what happens, too, when you are a good narrator. Yes. Rachel was a great narrator, yes. and that was a good season. Yes. Sean Lowe was a fantastic narrator, mm -hmm. and his season was... I think the best season we've ever had of Bachelor. Yeah. And so it's absolutely important that you're a good, narr good narrator and Jacqueline is the one. Yes, I mean, she's going to be throwing out SAT word after mm. SAT word. It's going to bring you <laughs> back to that time when you had to study for the SATs. Oh. And doesn't that evoke just a sense of, like, warmth and comfort Can't in wait. everybody? I mean, <laughs> golly, people are going to be psyched for that. I've been waiting to relive that my whole life. <laughs> well, I mean, that kind of leads me into that. My second point is she would be one of the, if not the most well-educated Bachelorette yeah. that we've had in history. Yeah, that's a good point. Because nothing against software salesmen, right? <laughs> yeah. But when was the last time you got a date a doctor, right? Or yeah. PhD candidate, I should say. But that's, still. That's a good point because I think this show does serve the appetite of people who want to play like, you know, relationship fantasy camp a yeah. little bit. They're like, oh, I wonder what it'd be like to date a PhD candidate. Yeah. Or I wonder what it'd be like to date a former athlete. Or, totally. You know, that kind of stuff, I think, does add to the appeal to the show. And so when you have someone who's just like, you know, a tech salesperson, it's like, well, that's not that exciting. Yo, exactly. But, I mean, as you said earlier, too, like, you know, she's a she's a PhD candidate, so, I mean, the show's going to be pretty interesting, and we, who knows, we might go home after learning a thing yeah. or two, right? No, I mean, that's going to be the thing. It's like, we are going to be, in our personal lives, asked a bunch of... Oh, why do you watch The Bachelorette? I mean, isn't that just like junk food <laughs> reality show? Bow shot? Yeah. And we can now be like, hey, we're basically getting a free PhD course. Yeah. Because our lead is teaching us through osmosis. Exactly. That's the cool thing. Probably earning credits by just sitting down on the couch and watching every Monday. I know. And really, the, the number three thing and the most important thing here is that she has proven through her season with Ari that she is a good decision maker. Why is that? <laughs> because she was the only person to reject reject Ari before he could reject her. That That is probably the most important point that we've said all along. I mean, the, you know that, and that's all you need to know. Exactly. So, those are our primary three points. Also, just throwing out a quick fourth point, smoking hot, right? Bang. Oh, th Absolutely yeah, I bang. mean, totally. Which, I mean, doesn't even need to be said, but we're saying it anyway. It doesn't really differentiate her versus, like, the other people we were considering, yeah. but, like, I mean, she is just undeniably a smoke show. Absolutely. So, that is our official official 2018 mm. Bachelorette endorsement. Let us know who you endorse in the comments below, whether or not you agree with our endorsement. And yes, we do know that Becca is the Bachelorette, as we said in the beginning, and we're going to be watching the show either way, but hey, now you know who our pick is. So until then, we will see you all next time. Adios, y'all.